Hello, everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Uh, please invite your friends and share the link with everybody. Uh, I chose to do it, uh, that late in my time uh, so we can reach out for people who live in far east. Uh, usually, people who live in Asia when we go afternoon in USA is going to be almost uh, 3 30 a.m. in the morning for them. So, uh, this is a specific time just to be with those who we love from the far east or from different timing. You know, always when we speak about um, Islam, the Muslims always try to point things about uh, Christianity. And you will find that all the things they point about Christianity is silly and stupid. Uh, one of the things Muslims, they try to focus on to try to prove that they have a religion, not a cult, that they have one God. And I find that this is a very silly argument because having one God or ten would not change the difference, would not make any difference anyway. Because if somebody believe in one thousand God, but they all exist, so he's right then. So if he's one, if he's two, if he's five, he's ten, if there's a group, if there's a truck full of gods, that will not change the fact. The question is, is your God is a true God or not? This is not about how many they are. It's about how truthful what you believe in. There is people believe in the devil and they worship the devil and believe he's God. Okay, Satan is one. So does that mean they are right? Many religions believe in one God, but doesn't make them right. Muslims, when they claim that they believe in one God, and supposedly that will make us take their belief into consideration, they forgot the most important thing. That we should not believe in someone who is stupid. You cannot come to me and say, I have God, but my God is stupid. And then you want me to believe that your God is God just because he's a one God. Who cares if he is one or two or three or four? It doesn't matter really. Welcome everybody, please invite your friends and let us go to our topic. As you see in the front of us, we see in the screen a beautiful uh, fingerprint of God, this amazing Lord who created things for us. And uh, always we, we will be astonished each time we, we see the beauty he created. The God of Islam, which is not exist, this is Muhammad making Quran, claiming that he received messages from God. Try to explain why the sun changed the location of appearance. As you know, this is something you do not need to be a scientist to know. Like in your house, you know, the sun, you know, come to your house differently uh, in winter time from summer time. Uh, especially if you live in far east or uh, actually anywhere doesn't matter the way you go but I mean there's some places the different will make a big a huge different like where I live here in the east coast in USA uh, the Sun in winter time go all the way to through my windows all the way inside the house but in summertime the Sun is different direction different uh, uh, attitude and uh, that will make it look like as if it's changing location, changing the way where it's coming from. The God of the Quran, which is Muhammad, the fabricator of the Quran, he tried his best to solve this problem. So he come with a conclusion. And he said in his Quran, that Allah is the Lord of the two East and the two West. What make Muhammad think that there is two east and two west? The answer is very simple. The sun appear in winter time from different position and set in different position from summer time. So there is two east and there is two west. According to Muhammad. 
but all of us we knew that this is nothing but the earth itself is a change in position is not really uh, uh, you know like yesterday the, the, the Sun is moving and uh, the earth itself is, is, is moving too so the same as we, we notice in the Quran speaking about the Sun set in the murky water the God of the Quran think that this is the Sun is moving but the fact it is the earth moving around itself every 24 hours now during the year the Sun uh, or the earth uh, actually uh, you know all of us we knew that we have an orbit that there is my planet go around the Sun and they are in constant and moving but always Muhammad he think about it is the Sun who changed the location the Sun is the one is moving the Sun is moving around and here you will see how silly it is to say the Lord of the two East and the Lord of the two West I mean what is the two East and what is the two West and how Allah can be the Lord of them I can take this as a metaphorical statement if the Quran did not continue speaking about the physical issues and to show you that we don't take things out of context because this is what the Muslims they do when they speak about the Bible we will go to the verses in the Quran and we will see what exactly the Quran meant by saying that so let us go together this is a chapter 55 verse number 17 let us zoom out so we can make you see it better so he is the lord of the two east and the lord of the two west i can say this is nothing but a metaphorical but hold on you will notice right away the verses after it saying it is he who led the free two bodies of love flowing water meeting together between them is a barrier which they do not transgress and all of us we heard the Muslims speaking about scientific miracle that the salty sea and the fresh sea they are not uh, meeting together so if we want to take if the Muslims take this one and obviously they cannot you cannot take it in a metaphorical way verse number 20 you cannot take it as a metaphorical obviously the verse number 17 is not a metaphorical too Muhammad here supposedly is telling us about what his God can do he is the Lord of the two East and the two West and he is the one who made two seas and you see here translation is stupid translation it doesn't say two bodies of water this is most this is why I'm working right now in translating the Quran in Arabic it says Bahrain mean two seas two seas it's not two body of water what body of water but in order to cover the shame and the stupidity of the Quran the Muslims always they play with the translation I'm going to change the translation in front of your eyes and you will see how immediately in different translation we will see the word seas let us go to Biktal as an example Muhammad Biktal Uh, do you see here Muhammad Bikta suddenly we have two C's so what happened in Yusuf Ali why the two C's disappear because it's very embarrassing to say that the God of Islam is thinking that there is two C's one is a fresh water and one is a salty water and the city God of Islam which is Muhammad Aka Muhammad he think that there's a barrier between the salty water and the fresh water the Muslim they make a lot of fabrication videos about this chapter saying this is about the salty water and 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 uh, uh, fresh water they never uh, like you know when they meet in the ocean uh, that there is fresh water don't mix with the salty water which is stupid by the way science doesn't even say that what science says that uh, uh, because there is like a different in the concentration of between between this water and that water it mix but it take a little bit of time especially if there's a current you know current of a spring of water then that water will stay there uh, fresh but this is not the same water came two minutes ago this is the new fresh water coming from the ground from the spring of water it's like you're saying I have a, a faucet it's opening and in the middle of the ocean but this faucet is a strong water still I can get a fresh water in the middle of the ocean 
but this is not because the fresh water is not mixing with the salty water you can try it yourself you can get a half cup of water salty and add half cup half cup of uh, fresh water and let us see if they will mix immediately or not so they do mix but this is not what it's talking about what here it says that between them there is a barzakh barzakh in arabic is a piece of a, of a dry land you can go and read any interpretation you will see how the muslim they fabricate says this is about the salty water is not mixing with the with the uh, with the fresh water because uh, 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 the concentration of the salt between them but here it says the barzakh it is a dry land if we go right now to any interpretation to see the verse what the verse mean you will see how how we can get them busted easy uh, we can go and we can do it right now chapter 55 verse number 20 let us go to English all right um here is not showing details let us see the front one mm, okay you see always i don't trust muslim translation in english let us go to ibn kathir and by the way ibn kathir in english is the biggest fabrication translator translation for ibn kathir ever there's tons of pages this appear from the translation but anyway we will use it then you will see we will show you by your own eyes that the quran making a stupid mistake claiming that there is two seas of water that is a salty water and the fresh water and allah he made a barrier which is a dry land not as the muslim they lie between them so they will not mix all right be careful with me <clears throat> the two seas they don't he prevent them from meeting by dividing by dividing barrier he placed between them to separate them the two seas are the fresh water and the salty water okay let us see more one is fresh and salty and one is uh, 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 fresh and one is salty etc and then and he has set a barrier a complete partition between them let us see what the complete partition is here we go the word barzakh in the quran is simply is a piece of land meaning he has placed a barrier of land between them those two types of water so look how silly muhammad who claimed that allah told him this he claiming that there's two seas of water one is salty and one is a fresh and they don't mix ever there's a barrier between them because Allah simply he made a barrier between them and that is land so Muhammad claim that the fresh water is staying fresh forever and the salty water is staying salty forever because simply he have a barrier between both now do i need really a proof that muhammad here is a false prophet more than this so look what he did if the muslim will say to us that uh, as they try to explain in the interpretation because interpretation of the quran is nothing but defend to defend the quran since this long time ago and the christian from the beginning they start making fun of the quran so muslim they start making interpretation for the quran not to explain the quran but to defend the quran you see what you what you call today interpretation for the Quran is like uh, uh, Zakir Naik making a making a statement to attack Christianity. It was not really to defend Islam. Do you understand, guys? What I'm saying? Do I understand? So they they are not making interpretation to give interpretation. They are trying to defend because since the beginning of Islam, people they start laughing at the stupidity of Muhammad. And here we notice and under the stupidity of Muhammad he think that salty water and fresh water they are divided and they are not mixed from the beginning God he made salty water and he put a barrier between them and not only that he says they will never try and transgress be careful with me 
between them there's a barrier which none of them can transgress but all of us we knew this is stupid the cycle of of of, of water is very simple it's called the cycle of rain you can go and search for it right now it is the the the, the fresh water we have is coming from the sea it's not the opposite <laughs> We don't have two C's. First of all, he used the two the word two C's. Two C's. So Muhammad, you think there is two C's. One, you see, two C's. One C is salty and one C is fresh. When you say the word C, you are talking about a huge amount of water. They have to be equal at least. So Muhammad here, the Quran. Aka Muhammad, uh, who, who, who is the founder of Islam, claiming that there is two seas, one is fresh and one is salty, and they are equal in the size. But all of us, we knew that this is stupid. The salty water take more than 70% uh, of the size of the earth. So, if we go back, where it says that Allah is the Lord of the two east and the two west, we will notice here that the Muslim, if they try to say to us that this is metaphorical, then this one should be metaphorical too because this is the same chapter you know, the difference between them there's no actually no there's no verses between them you see here uh this verse here is not it's, just, it's like a, a rabbi music he keep repeating it which in the lord you deny which in the lord you deny which means he's not making a new statement you know that's why you see it all over the the, the chapter you know which in your favor your lord didn't deny so he created the man from a clay this is a fact the jinn created from a smokeless fire is a fact, it's not metaphorical. The Lord of the two East, the two East and the, the Lord of the two West, it's a fact, supposedly. It's not a metaphorical. The two seas who they are not going to mix, it's a fact, not a metaphorical. He put a barrier between them, it's a fact, it's not metaphorical. From them, they will come pearl and coral stones, is not is a fact, not metaphorical. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because the Muslim they will say to you, this is metaphorical, brother. The, guys, do you understand? This is the first thing they will say to you that this is nothing but metaphorical, but they cannot say that because all the chapter here is not about metaphorical, it cannot be. So we have a silly man, his name is Muhammad, speaking to a bunch of idiots around him, claiming that he is Dr. Muhammad, who have a PhD. In astronomy and geology and biology, and he start doing poopoo. -poo. Whatever he speak, he make poopoo. -poo. He don't talk. And if you are a Muslim watching, I want you to be honest with me and tell me: Do you really believe that God will make such a stupid mistake? By the way, do pearls and coral come from both? When you say both, it's mean from both. Same time, we need to ask ourselves why the Muslims they have tons of videos about this verse, claiming that this is about science and the salty water and the fresh water is not mixing, and they show you a video of water in the sea is not mixing. But this is not what the verse is talking about. This is additional proof that Islam is a scam. Because why Muslims who they knew what the Quran is saying? They lie to us, making it, making the error, the mistake, the stupidity, making it look like as if it's a scientific thing. Do you know what I'm saying, guys? Please don't ask me questions out of the topic. Let us be smart and let us focus to together. Because your question out of the topic will not help anyone. If we are done, you can ask me a question. So here you need to ask yourself, if somebody a believer and he have a wrong, long beard like Zakir Naik or Shabir Ali, why they lie to us? Because Islam is a satanic cult. Otherwise, if you ask me about Jesus, I will never lie about him. Because that means I am satanic too. Why I want to lie to you? You see, you remember yesterday a guy, he called me and he said the story about uh, the second king when a bunch of youth, they made fun of a prophet. You remember I told him this is what it says you know you believe it you don't believe it. it's up to you I did not say to him you know it doesn't say that it is what it says it might not sweet you that's not my business who care I mean for me I am a believer I believe in it I'm not going to compromise my belief 
just to make you happy you don't like it it's your business a person he come to me and says okay you say Jesus is a person of love it says in the judgment day he will come and he will order his angels and they will say bring them in front of me those who don't believe and slay them I said this is what it says I believe in that I'm not going to compromise say to you know this is metaphorical this is not metaphorical this is what will happen exactly this is judgment judgment day anyone who don't obey the Lord is going to be judged when people they hear his voice the voice of the Messiah the Muslim Muslim they say where Jesus he said I'm God and they will hear his voice and by hearing his voice they were resurrected and then those who believe in him they will be taken to heaven and those who don't they will be taken to judgment so we do not compromise and lie about the Messiah to make somebody believe you want to believe believe if you don't believe it's your business Muslims they don't do that Muslims they lie about the religion in order to make you believe that the religion is saying something it does not say and that is one of the reasons that Islam losing ground big deal because you might convert me to Islam today because you lied to me but then I will start reading and searching and then I will become an enemy to Islam this is why you see many of those who converted to Islam later they became biggest enemy to Islam You know what I mean so the lies they do actually it is good somehow sometimes the evil can be good because the evil prove itself evil by lying you know what I mean it make it easier for me to prove Islam to be here we go we show you verses obviously it's saying something stupid Allah cannot be God Muhammad cannot be a prophet but additional to that, the Muslim, he will make this stupidity, try to make it look like a science, lying. And then you need to ask yourself, why the Quran says something, the Muslim, they say something, unless this is a cult. They can't protect their cult without lying. This cult cannot exist without lying and bombs and suicide bombing. Like today we heard the news that uh, poor Christians praying in Philippines and uh, uh, a bunch of Abdul attacked the church and they did suicide bombing to praise Allah the religion of human blood sacrifice Allah now is happy because there's 20 26 or well, 30 people uh, got killed and maybe 200 lost their arms and their body part and limbs Allah now is happy children slaughtered and killed and their stomach is coming out Allah is excited now this is the God who will not be happy unless he see stomach of a human being is coming out of his uh, uh, a child who is coming i mean what what those people have to do anything what those wh how how that can make this god allah happy what kind of god is god so they try to promote the religion as long they can if they cannot then there is other issue we use terrorism this is why you see Muhammad in the beginning he was not a terrorist because he was hoping he would be able to deceive them but then nobody believed in him so he decided to move into violence this is why the Quran says when victory came people they enter into Islam by waves in the chapter of the victory it's called even the chapter is called chapter of victory when the victory come People they enter into Islam by waves, waves, tens of thousands in one day. Why? Why did not enter before the victory? Because people want to live. People don't want to die. ISIS is in town. Chapter one ten, verse one two three. You see, the chapter is very silly I and mean, very short. When the victory when the victory come i saw mankind entering islam by troops like troops tens of thousands in a day because victory come not because muhammad he won a debate not because muhammad he preached and people they listen and they believe but because victory came
Islam is very easy to demolish but only if you have knowledge the same as anything you know not long time ago uh, millions of people did die in Europe because of a stupid flu like I read in a book of uh, history that there's a fountain in I think it was in Italy and the fountain is infected with bacteria of the flu and people they drink from that fountain the whole town is dying ignorance this is what the Bible says ignorance destroy my people and this is what we try to do here we try to fight ignorance not only ignorance of the Christians and ignorance of the Muslims too because for a long time ignorance you know is taking over us as a Christians you know we go to church it's not your fault you go to church your priest is just doing a, a business he's doing a job like Muhammad Mo most of them they are false people who take salary and they don't care really about wh what they teach you you know they have like a job to do so today we will read for you this chapter the two pages or let us say one page and then okay we collect donation and then you go home but there's no teaching there's no education this not this is not a church no more they preach to you but they don't teach you the first thing Jesus he did he was teaching before preaching what they do today they teach you nothing but they preach to you and the first thing they preach to you is to give donation the same as Muhammad so how a Christian he is going to get education if you go to church and his church last place they speak about the true God and how to know God how to recognize what is from God why didn't teach you how to test the spirit why didn't talk about Muhammad why those churches they are so happy excited to attack each other like you know we see uh, Catholic and Protestant and etc because the devil divided us but the devil will not make you fight Islam the devil will make you fight yourself so always we have to be careful and we have to be united this is why you see me always I am against definition the division division between Christians anyone who start divide the Christians Catholic and Protestant and Orthodox he is working for the devil it doesn't matter what his name it doesn't matter what his title it doesn't matter what his rank we have one Lord one Messiah and we have one church that is the Church of Christ whoever believe in me and I will live not whoever believe in Catholic or Protestant salvation come from Christ not from a priest not from a Christian prince not from a bishop not from a Pope not from anyone everyone is sinner there's one only name is not so if you put your trust in a false teachers like Muhammad or like a priest or like a bishop you are being a fool we do not need anyone we need only the name of the Messiah and he spoke to us and he taught us and his book is there same time we have to be careful about what people they say to us because there is many as the Lord he said they will come to you in a close of a sheep but they are wolves for me when I was young you know teenage boy trying to find out why the Muslims are speaking against Christianity why they are saying we are false so I had I had to find an answer so I studied hard the Muslims actually the Muslims helped me to be a better believer and then I start decided to go even to school to finish my Islamic degree to study Islam officially and professionally and I found that Islam is the most stupid ignorant cult ever you can imagine actually the verse we are looking in the chapter we are looking at is nothing but a scam have you ever heard of a God he keep repeating himself like this look the same sentence I mean don't you have anything to say that's what you want to say to us 
which of uh, of the favor of your Lord do you deny? Which of the four do you deny? Which of the four do you deny? Like, come on, come on. This is God be God. What is that? This is God talking. You cannot even find words to put it there. Hmm. So you do not need to be really genius to discover that this cult is a stupid. But if you decide to be fool, this is your business. And I believe fools are exist. And they will be exist always. But I believe if you are a fool, it's not because God made you a fool. I think because you choose to be one. There is someone he decided to study and to research and to find out. And there is somebody he decided to swallow whatever people give him. That is the fool. We watch TV, we see George Bush saying Islam is peace. Okay, George Bush, he's a president, and he is, no, there's no way he will say something not true. So we believe it. Obama, he says Islam is wonderful, and he starts explaining to us even what is Ramadan is about. Bringing the Islamic propaganda to the heart of America. And many of foolish people, or like an actor or an actress, this is why the Muslim, they concentrate, trying to convert those who they are famous into Islam so they can deceive the naive, the dummy, those who worship idols, like actors you have an actor you like him and this actor became a Muslim so then oh there is no way this guy would do something wrong those guys are scam all of them they are dying by drugs don't you see who they are when the Muslims they work hard to to uh, to convert someone like Muhammad Ali why it's so important to convert Muhammad Ali to Islam Muhammad Ali was suffering from racism they lied to him and they said to him Islam is a religion against racism but if Muhammad Ali he met with me before he converted to Islam for 15 minutes he would know that Islam is the biggest racist religion ever specifically against the black people so they lied to him and it's not his fault it is the fault of the society he live in nobody in his church taught him about Islam nobody in his society knows anything about Islam those who claim knowledge, okay, you are a priest. So what, what you what, when you call yourself a priest, what you study? I mean, what do you what do you really study? You just study the Bible, that's what priests do. No. A priest is somebody should be able to give answers for a question not only about Christianity, but about other faiths, because there's other faces existed and now we have to refute them we have to answer them otherwise what make people believe in my face so when I say I have a faith in something then and you, you let's say you are in a church and then you say to him I am an atheist I want to be an atheist shouldn't you know what atheism is about shouldn't you learn how to to answer those questions the atheists they have so to be a priest is not about reading the gospel and reading a chapter of uh, you read John chapter 10 or John. This is not just this is not your job only. Your job is to teach, to guide, to be the leader, to be a person of knowledge. This is why they give you salary because you do full time working for the group, for the society. But then what they do? No. They are just a priest. They read for you for 15 minutes from the Bible. Then we collect donation. Then we have tea in the coffee sh coffee outside, like it's the same as Islam. It's a business, and then we go home. You learn nothing. I answered you nothing. You are not even allowing to ask me anything, because we are just doing a routine. And then we go home. So how a person will learn how to answer somebody is not a Christian. This is why it's very important what we do. You know, there's many, many names in the, in the in YouTube. Actually, there are few. They are trying to teach you about the Bible, and they are doing good job. But if you think about it, how many people they are doing that? Very few. We have we have millions of priests. Go right now and see how many priests are teaching you the Bible. Nobody. And the, uh, how many how many they are teaching you how to answer? Nobody. And when I say I'm, I'm talking about priests. Those who they are teaching you is not the priest. 
like you know we go like you know you can watch videos of Sam Shamu or uh, what his name the guy sometime he go with him uh, Anthony uh, I forgot his name or David Wood or etc so very few J Smith very few you can't count them with your fingers in the same time we have millions of Muslims attacking Christianity so we ask ourselves what is the Christian priest why nobody is standing to teach the Christians why they don't invite us to their churches not only that many of those priests they work for the devil they even invite Muslims to teach about Islam in their church to their children's So we have to be careful and fighting for the truth is not easy and your children can be deceived any church you go to ask the priest which is in your church without knowing the name of the church I don't care the name ask him a question what do you think about Islam if he starts saying to you they are Abrahamic and this you know we believe everything is he is saying blah, blah, blah. the second he says that tell him shut up Sh say the word shut up don't say oh thank you and uh, nice to meet you no say shut up you are a liar the Bible says whoever denied the father and the son is an Antichrist so shame on you to say they are the same right uh, Rocky I don't like stupid talk no the Pope he did not uh, invite his time to take beer inside the you know Anyone when I say something stupid, I will ban you. I warn you, don't say stupidity. And by the way, for those who attack a Catholic, uh, some many many dumb people they keep saying the same thing. Nobody fought Islam as much as the Catholic. But you know, garbage come in and garbage go out. You know, people copy paste. Somebody says the Catholic even created Islam. Garbage, stupidity. What are you talking about? So who is the crusade, your donkey? Huh? If not the Catholic, all of Europe will be Muslim from long time ago. Donkeys. I am not a Catholic, but I don't like liars. Don't listen to donkeys. Be smart. This is all is the act of the devil. This is what we are talking about. That shaitan, Satan, he tried to divide us. If we go in the Quran, chapter 5, verse 14, Allah, he said, supposedly, which is Muhammad, that he have a target. He want to divide the Christians until the judgment day. He will spread hate and enmity between them, one to each other. And then you see many who claim to be Christians, they are serving the devil, Allah, by dividing the Christians. They claim to be priests. They claim to be servant of God. But they are so excited to attack each other. You see, just go say Catholic, say Protestant, they jump at each other. Suddenly, they are no Christian. They give us pre they, they speak about love and mercy and etc. The second you say Catholic and Protestant, suddenly the devil appear, and that is Allah. As you see in front of you. So any donkey, he start dividing the Christians, he is serving the devil. I have no problem. To speak something I don't agree with with different church but I don't say the Catholic are evil and the Catholic are pagan this is stupid I don't agree with pictures or etc but did you ask yourself why never attack the Orthodox they have the same they have or they have uh, they have icons <laughs> only the Catholic is the problem so all of us we do wrong but doing wrong does not make you not a believer especially if you don't mean to do the wrong we commit sin some they lie some they commit adultery some they are they do hypocrisy uh, some they do gossip some some did some 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 they disrespect their parents some all of this is sin will lead you to hell so don't think you are better than someone just because you don't have a picture or he have a picture you are better than him and you are a Christian he's not Jesus said before you see the little thing in the eye of your brother see the big tree you have a big piece of wood inside your eye so all of us we do wrong but 
the important is that those who we don't agree with them in some stuff do they believe in Jesus as a savior yes do they believe in his crucifixion yes do they believe in the father the son the Holy Spirit yes I don't agree with them a big shot, but that will not change anything. That is sin for me. But I am a sinner too. Do I agree, guys? I am a sinner too. So if they commit sin, I commit sin too. If there's anyone here, he can throw the stone. If any of you can throw the stone at this woman, throw your stone. Don't be a hypocrite. So what, what the devil he tried to do always he tried to make us judge each other and throw rocks at each other But all of us we are sinners. Otherwise, why we need Jesus? Why we need a savior if we are perfect, okay, we are the perfect one and they are not no So be smarter don't be a donkey When you become a donkey the devil he ride you Time will come and people will kill you thinking they are doing a favor to God. That is the donkey riding you. Time will come and they will kill you thinking they are doing a favor to God. So the devil, he will make you believe that you are a believer and he will use you to hate and to do violence and to do killing or he will use a priest to deceive you anything is against the spirit refuse it anything is against the teaching of Christ refuse it it doesn't matter who is the one who say it is a priest is a bishop is a Christian prince he is you it doesn't matter who Now, going back to the topic, as you see, the verses of the Quran confirm to us that Allah cannot be God. The same chapter, the Muslim they claim that it's have a miracle of uh, separation between the two water. We prove to you that the water separation is not exist really. This is stupid. The salty water and the uh, the fresh water. It's not what the Quran says, and here we go. This is even the Muslim interpretation. The word the Quran used the word barzakh, which means there's a piece, a partition of land between the two both. So when the God of Islam he speak about the two east, the two, the two west, and then there's two seas. One sea is a salty, and one sea is a sweet, fresh. That because the founder of Islam, Muhammad, is a Bedouin ignorant man trying to speak as God is talking and I'm very thankful that this garbage is exist because that will make it harder for us later to prove to some naive ones that Muhammad cannot be from God what kind of God he would think that salty water and fresh water they don't mix and why because there is a partition of land between them Listen carefully. The verse says that those two waters never met. They cannot even transgress, which means they are separated forever. Between them, read carefully, this is the Quran. Between them is a barrier which none of them can transgress. None of them can transgress. That's it. And what is the barrier? It's a piece of land. There is no way God will say such a thing. This is stupid. And this is embarrassing. He placed a barrier of land. You go right now and search. Search for this, this verse on the Quran. And you will see a chapter, you know, a search for it. You will see the Quran Muslim. They have tons of videos saying, Oh, the Quran is speaking about the salty water and the fresh water does not mix and a scientist and they start quoting you for names by the way they to, to deceive you and sometimes even they fabricate names of scientists they don't exist to make you believe that there is a science behind the Quran
right? Uh, uh, Ashraf, Ashraf, you see, when a Muslim they lie, we laugh at them. Uh, post for us the verse, and we and we will get you busted. You want to laugh at yourself? You want to laugh at yourself? It's your prophet who said that. Your prophet, he said, the sons of adultery, they will be the fuel of hellfire. Which means, if your father is a son of adultery, you are still a son of adultery forever. Now, do you like to call me so we can love? Ashraf? Or you will take it back? Ashraf, do you dare to call me? Or you swallow it? Potato Ashraf, are you there? Are you going to play dead now? Hello? See, always the Muslims, they assume that you are a person who do not know, they have no answer, and they play the game of knowledge. But the second you challenge them, they play dead. Cowards like their prophet. And the funny when they say even that the Bible says, they say the Bible says, all right? And the funny is that the Muslim is expert in the Bible, but he can't answer us. You see, what we are showing him in the screen, how stupid the Quran is, he, he don't care. He care about the Bible says. Do, do you notice the stupidity? Like instead of saying, okay, let me call you, explain to you. No, 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 the Bible says, Okay, let us say the Bible says what you said. That will change the fact that your Quran is stupid, and that will not make the Bible stupid anyway. Hmm? I will turn my Skype on only for Muslims. If there's a Muslim on a call. Even though actually I'm not planning to go on Skype today, it's uh, it's uh, two twenty a.m. in the morning here, but um, no problem. We can we can we can take Abdul just for a snack. Abdul or two or three for four for a snack doesn't hurt. You know. Are you there, Ashraf? What happened to you? Ashraf is taking a nap. He's searching Google. And by the way, when Muslims, they call me, I don't debate them, I play. I Honestly, I just play because they are the kids. Every Muslim, I, I never saw a Muslim, he called me, he is mature to be considered as a man. They are a bunch of kids. They are copy, paste. Nobody read the Bible. Nobody knows what it's the Bible is saying. He quote for you a verse, he saw it in the website, but he didn't know even what it says before, what it says after, and later we find it's very embarrassing. Muhammad is in the Bible. Okay, let us read together, and then we will find it's, it's very embarrassing. Like even they quote for me a verse about hypocrites, and they say this is a verse about Muhammad. The, the verse there it says this is about the hypocrite, you idiot. Yet they say this is about Muhammad. <laughs> the verse, my brother, the verse says that uh, the, the the book is sealed for them; they cannot read. Here we go. It says they are illiterate. But this is speaking about the hypocrite, you donkey. You are saying your prophet is a hypocrite. They are so desperate to find anything in the Bible to make it fit with their prophet. Anything. Because they are bankrupt. It's like, you know, somebody, <clears throat> he heard that an old person, he died. And he want to claim that he have an inherit, inherit, inheritance from him. So what he would do? He would start, uh, you know, fabricating papers, etc. I am his grand-grandson, blah, 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 blah. But he's not, no proof. 
And what is the proof is written something in your book, not in his book. And then we read, and this is not about you, have nothing to do with you. And the funny, as an example, look how much stupidity we show in the screen. Not a single Muslim have an objection for the stupidity in the Quran in the screen. Their worry is the Bible. Nobody want to answer how God can be stupid. I mean, have you ever heard of a stupid God? I do. His name is Allah. Have you ever heard of a God you do not know how the baby is made? Uh, Malik, uh, how are you, Malik? Do you like to call me? You see, Malik, you are saying to me I'm a coward. What about you give me a call in Skype? What do you think, guys? If you don't call me, it's mean you are the coward. If you are brave, you call me. Are you willing to call me, Malik, so I, I turn the sky for you? Just for you. Malik, do you have the courage? Hello? Malik, Malik, where are you? All Muslims waiting for you. They are expecting you to be a hero. Shame on Muhammad, shame on you. Malik, Malik, where are you? Say yes, I will call you right now. Let's see who's the coward. Here we go. We send we sang a song for you just to make you more excited. Look, he played dead again. The second you say to them, call me, they play dead. Somebody bring some camel urine. The only religion in the world who forbid wine and approve camel urine is Islam. And this is additional proof that Islam is coming from God. I mean, how how we cannot believe it's come well, obviously it's from God. Camel urine versus wine. For sure. Islam believes in fitra. What fitra is to drink piss. They say fitra. Fitra is the natural thing. Since when the natural thing is to drink piss, are you a monkey? Are you? Let us see here. Do we have any Muslim would like to call us? Who is a Muslim would like to call us? Honestly, I'm hungry. Yeah, for a snack. Who want to do so? Who is the brave Muslim, proud Muslim who would like to call me? Let us see who is the coward. Anyone? My Skype is open right now. Malik, are you there? Forget about Malik. As you see, the Quran claiming that there's two east, two west, because the stupid god of Islam, he thought, because the sun changed position from winter to summer, that means there's two sun. There's a sun for the east in the winter and sun for the east in the win in the summer. And sun set in the winter in a place, and sun set in the summer in a place. And the Muslim cannot say this is a metaphorical thing for a very simple reason, as we showed you. The verse in the Quran, all of it speaking about something not metaphorical, about how Allah created the earth, how the, the water is separated, how there is two seas, how the pearls is coming out. You see, this is not metaphorical. How the ship float. Why the ship float? It's Allah, he make it float. That's not metaphorical. How the pearls are made, that's not metaphorical. 
how the water salty water and fresh water separated is not a metaphorical aren't you Muslim you say to us don't take verses out of context here we go as you see this is not metaphorical the Lord of the three East as this is the Lord of the ring <clears throat> Jesus, what? He, st he stood and urinated? No. Maybe maybe he was urinated at Allah, I don't know. You see? Guys, Jesus, he stood and urinate. Okay, show me a reference that Jesus, he stood and urinate. Well, go and take a selfie. I mean, look how silly they are. Look, look, look what they're talking about. So, let us say, let us say what you said is true. Is that will change anything? Is that will make your God not stupid? <laughs> <laughs> the Quran says that Allah He sent His Spirit as a man, which means as a perfect man, Bashar and Sawiyah. So the Spirit of Allah have a penis. Did the penis of Allah work or no? Did He pee or this is fake penis? You answer me. Call me. Why you don't call? Let's have a conversation. Your God Allah is a man and he have a shape of a human being. He is short, he have a fat ass and he have a curly hair and he have uh, two eyes and two hands in the right side. <clears throat> now, I want you to prove to me that he did not piss. Same time, show me a verse saying Jesus, he did piss. Just, to, just for education, I like to learn from you. By the way, I can show you dogs entering the Kaaba or the, the, the mosque of your prophet and pissing and your prophet never even clean behind them. Not only that, a Bedouin man, he went inside the mosque, the holy house of Allah, and he unzipped and he started pissing. And when the Muslim, they start saying to him, stop, 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 Muhammad said, leave him, leave him, let him finish. I challenge you to say I'm lying. Do you dare? Hmm. Well, Jesus was circumcised. He is born of the body of a human being. The funny, you Muslims believe that Allah He circumcised Muhammad. So simply, simply, suddenly, Allah became a piece of penis cutter. Is it you Muslim believe that Allah is the one who circumcised the Prophet? Explain that to me. <clears throat> You see, they keep jumping like monkeys in order not to avoid to answer what we have in the screen, the stupidity of the Quran. All of what you say to me will not change anything. Let us say Jesus, he all what you did, but still Jesus, he resurrect people from death. Jesus, he can't tell you what you hide. Jesus can forgive your sin. Jesus, he created from the mother bird according to the Quran. Jesus, he healed the leper. Jesus, he healed the blind. So here we go. You said he have a penis, but your God cannot do what a penis, a person with penis can do. Did you ask your God why he cannot do what Jesus can do? Okay, your God, let's say for the sake of argument, your God does not have a penis. But your God cannot make a blind see. When a blind man came to Muhammad, do you know what Muhammad did to him? There's a chapter in the Quran, it's called chapter of Abasa. <clears throat> Abasa wa tawalla. What happened? Muhammad was speaking to a bunch of rich people. Excuse me, my, my voice is not doing good. So Muhammad, he kicked the ass of the, of the blind man because he's talking to the rich. Do you see it? Chapter 18, verse number 1, 2, 3, read it and laugh. You're a prophet when the blind man came to him. He did not make a miracle by the name of his God, making the blind see. But when the blind man meet Jesus, Jesus made him see. So you remember that Jesus, he have a body of a man, but you don't remember that Jesus, he can do what nobody can do? Your father is the devil, my friend. Explain to me why Muhammad, he could not make the blind see, and not only that, he kicked him away. And then the people start talking about what kind of a prophet he turned away from a blind man, he kicked his ass out of the house. He said to him, shut up, I'm busy. Why? Because I'm talking to the rich people of Quraysh. And then when people, they start making fun of Muhammad for such a prophet, such an ethic, Muhammad, he made a verse, says, Oh Allah, he said to me, why you do that? Why you do that? Now you learn that it's not right to do something to a blind man. Imagine you see a person making fun of a blind man. A blind man is asking for your help. What do you do? You make fun of him. 
you reject him why because you are talking to rich people Jesus did not say to the blind man sitting in the road in the street oh you are not rich I will not help you he gave him eyes are you there Muslims so instead of asking why Jesus have a body of a human being what about asking why Jesus can do what God can do but your God who don't have a human being be body a human being as you claim and by the way he do why he cannot do what Jesus do uh, we have a Muslim here let us see <coughs> All right. Let us see. Abdul is asking me to call him. Hello. Hey, Abdul. Is it you? Yes. Okay, Abdul. So, why your God? He says he is the Lord of the two east and the two west. He's uh, he's God. I, I... Uh, but, uh, can I ask you one question? No, don't ask me one question. First, answer the question. Why he is saying God. there's two east and two west? Because he's God of everything. Oh, so because he's God, he says stupid things. You are saying? Can I just ask? No, no, he he doesn't uh, say stupid things. So, so, uh, so why you are not ask, answering? Then why why he is saying? I ask you why he says there's two east and two west, and you say to me is God. What does that mean? There's no two east, there's no two west. So either you say this is stupid or you explain to me. Because he's God of everything. And he's, well, this is not the question. He, he claimed there's two east, two east, and two west. What What is the two east we have? I don't know. Okay, what is the two west we have? I don't know. So you are the same as Allah. Are you Allah? No. Because you do not know, Allah do not know. So now we have two Allah. Be honest with me, aren't you Allah? <laughs> no, honestly, aren't you Allah? Because obviously, both of you do not know. Allah. What do you mean, stuff for Allah? Here we go. You don't know. Allah do not know. So both of you are Allah. We have ignorant number one. We have ignorant number two. So why you don't say I am Allah? Worship me. Come on. Go and buy a black stone, make it in the shape of a vagina, build a house in the middle of uh, Nevada, Arizona, next to Las Vegas. And open a casino, it's called the Black Stone Kaaba. You will see a lot of Muslims do gamble in there and they will kiss the Black Stone and will make a lot of donation. Okay, but uh, why do you always uh, attack Islam? Attack what? If you, so, if you so, uh, if you are secure about your religion, why do you every day go live uh, attacking Islam? Okay, so you are saying if somebody attacked the from belief, he is not secure, correct? You're doing it every day, yes. Uh, you're a prophet, he do it every day, attacking Christianity and Judaism. Does that mean he is not secure? Okay. No. What do you mean? No, what is the first chapter you read for me in the Quran? Isn't it the Fatiha? Yes. Don't you say in verse number five, six, and seven, oh, please Allah, don't make us the same as the lost Christians and the and the cursed Jews. Yes. So you are the one who curses us every day. Are you insecure? Uh, okay. You are doing this every day, attacking Islam. Why? Because I you study are... Islam. You know, everybody have a have a job. My job is a somebody have a clinic for eyes. Somebody have a clinic. For the stupidity, this is me. So I here to fix the stupidity. For Muslims, they believe in a stupid God. His name is Allah. So I'm trying to help them for free. What's your problem? Because uh, your your religion doesn't make sense. It's both a contradictions, errors. Mm -hmm. like, let us say, let it, okay. Let us say that. Let us say that my belief is full of contradiction and error. But that will not stupid the fact that your God Allah, He thinks there's two east and two west, and He thinks that the sun set in the murky water. And he think that the baby is made from a from from a, a congealed blood. The sperm became a congealed no, blood. Doesn't say that. Doesn't say, say that. It says in uh, chapter uh, ninety six verse two. It mm. says recite in the name of the Lord mm. created man from a suspension. Okay, let me go there. Let me go there because I'm 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 not fast like you. You are very smart, and um, we are not uh, smart like Muslims. Chapter ninety six. You want me to go there? Yeah. Uh, okay. Verse two. Go to the Arabic dictionary to okay. see what the word Allah mm. means. Okay. Uh, uh, do you see the Muslim? They said here created the man from embryo. Does it say that? Or this is a false translation? 
No, it says recite in the name of your Lord who created man from a clinging or. Okay, so there's no embryo. You see, this is the first lie, the most in the lie in translation. So, what translation do you like me to show you? This translation is a lie. Which translation do you like? Just go to the Arabic dictionary to see what the word. Okay, means. the Arabic. Do you speak Arabic? No. Okay. What? Okay. Let, let, let us go with you. So Allah, He created the man from alaq. You said the alaq yes. is what? The alaq is what? It's the suspending. What suspending mean? It's something that clings. Oh, something cling. Okay. So, what is the sperm then? Through the sperm, is that is that the sperm? No. What it is? You're uh, clinging on the connecting stuff with uh, all of the embryo. It's the stages. No, I'm asking you. This this the thing is a clinging. What is that? The clinging. What is that thing? What is that thing? Is the clinging? Is the connecting stuff? I know. What is that? What is that? What do you mean? Well, the word alaq mean uh, dead blood. Well, see, you, you, right now you're just being dishonest. This is what I mean. Okay, let us let us see. Okay, let us see if this is true or not. You, do you know the Do you know what the Quran mean more than your prophet? Uh, no, I don't. Okay, so so let us see what the Quran, what what, what Muhammad said. Please show respect, respect your prophet. Otherwise, the Muslims will spank you with no mercy. Let us see what no. your prophet said. Okay, hold on, hold on. Okay, look. Okay. Let us see. Here we go. This is your prophet. This is Sahih Bukhari. This is Sahih Muslim. This is Sahih Bukhari. Sahih Muslim. All of them. Choose which one you want me to read for you. All of them. They are proving Muhammad to be a false person. Read with me carefully. They say Muhammad he claim. No, hold, hold on, hold on. Muhammad Muhammad he claim. That that uh, uh, are you laughing at your prophet? No, well, you're you're speaking out the English translation in Arabic. It says Allah okay, Allah. okay. Here we go. I will make you read your for me in Arabic. Oh, go ahead. Oh, as long no, no, as long you are saying I'm taking the the English translation, which is your translation, not my translation. You see, I'm showing you your Muslim website. Okay, read for me. Read for me in the screen. Here we go. We have the Arabic for you. Go ahead. I'm reading. I'm listening. I can, I can, I can. Can read in Arabic. So why you are saying to me I'm taking the English translation? You yourself you do not know even the Arabic. I will read for you in Arabic. It's okay. In a hadakum shut up. In a hadakum yujma yujma khalqo fi batni ummihi arba'ina yuman nutfa. Thumma yakunu alaqa mithlu dalik. Let us translate English. Okay. This is the Muslim translation. Okay. This Muslim translation. Okay. okay. That you are going to be formed in the inside your mother uh, in the form of a semen for forty days. Do you believe in that? Listen, this is not a topic. This is the topic. You are the one who says to me the Quran speak about the baby as he created correctly. Let me finish. What kind of a stupid? What kind of a stupid prophet? He says that you are as a semen in the in the womb of your mother for forty days. Let's finish talking. And by the way, it says that clinging, so it doesn't. But the English. Okay. What kind of a semen? Doesn't matter what's clinging. Let us say it's a clinging. No problem. What kind no, of a semen? But he's saying what is a clinging. He says the semen. He's saying that the semen, the semen became, the semen became. Thingy. We came what became alaqa. Read with me carefully. I'm not. The word I'm not. Is leech. No, doesn't matter. He is saying that the semen. We stay. We stay. Abdul, Abdul, listen to me. You know, I know that your mom. She told you not not to play outside. How old are you now? My friend, the word uh, club in uh, Arabic is mm. not alaqa. It means something else. Mm. What alaqa mean? Tell me. What the alaqa means leech. Leech. Okay, let's say it's leech. So the, your prophet saying that what? the semen. Okay, we'll go. With you, we'll go. With you just to show to show you how stupid what you just said to me. So the, he is saying that the semen stay as semen for forty days and then became a leech. Do you believe in that? Are you okay? Here we go. We have to Allah now. You do not know Allah. Do not know. We have to Allah. Yeah. Are you holding yeah. yourself? Are you holding yourself from laughing? Be honest with me. No. Be honest. No, I feel it. You are holding yourself from laughing, and Islam is stupid according to you, and you believe you believe it truly in your heart that this is stupid, but you are just defending blindly just because you are a Muslim. <clears throat> oh, fine. But you are fine, okay. You tell me, do you believe that the semen stay inside the womb of the women for 40 days? What is semen taking vacation here? Okay, your book is forget book about my book. I don't have a no, 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 don't, don't, why you change, why you change the topic? Why you change the topic? Why you change the topic? Let me finish talking. You're saying our prophet is stupid because your book doesn't even, uh, your book doesn't even dare to talk about embryology, milk progress, semen reproduction. It doesn't 
because your God doesn't know anything about it. Mm. So if if we show you if we if we show you verses uh, 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 speaking about that, what you will do? And you will see that Muhammad trying to copy from the Bible. Your book, okay, show me, show me. No, but if I show you what you will do, you will you will say I leave Islam. Yes, I swear, I leave. You are you sure? Show me. Yes. Okay. Guys, did he say I swear? You swear by what? You swear by the fake? No. Let's go. What? Just uh, do it. Uh, I want to see. Show me. No, no. You know, when you say do it, and I will see. You swear by you swear by what? You swear by what? By Allah? By the fake? You swear by what? I swear by God. Which God? <clears throat> Allah. Allah. Mm. Should I trust you? Yes. Just, uh, just, do you know? Uh, do, you, do you know a chapter in the Bible is called Sefer Ayub? No. What is Ayub in uh, equal? The, the Quran, the Islam, believe in Ayub. Do you, do you don't know what Ayub is? Just uh, show me where it says that. Yeah, I'm, I'm telling you where it is. Do you do you believe in something called Ayub? Someone, his name is oh. Ayub, huh? Ayub. Ayub. A yeah, who is Ayub? He's a prophet. Okay. So, did you ever read his book in the Bible? No. Really? So, how come yes. the Quran? Why? Why the Quran mention only two, one word about him? Chapter thirty-eight, verse number forty-one. Why? Do you know? No. Okay. If we go to the book of Job, if somebody can pause for us, you will find that in the book of Job, is speaking about how how God created the man, and this person here, the uh, uh, Job, he is speaking. You know, he's medit doing meditation with God, speaking about God, His glory. And if we go to verse, uh, uh, you know, I think verse uh, chapter ten, verse number nine. If somebody can pause for us, if you go there, you will see. He speak exactly how God he created the human being and he created the the, the uh, 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 you know uh, how he created him all all together not like in the in the stages your prophet he is saying which is very stupid and very funny. Okay, uh, let somebody post it. I'll see. Okay, if it's true, I'll leave this one. I promise. All right, let us see. I will look for it myself. Hold on. <clears throat> All right, I have it now in front of me, and uh, we will play audio so everybody can hear and see what God say and what the prophet they said. Um, I'm looking just for the version with the audio so we can play it. All right, here we go. Listen carefully, my friend. Job 10. My soul is weary of my life. I will leave my complaint upon myself. I will speak in the bitterness of my soul. I will say unto God, do not condemn me. Show me wherefore thou contendest with me. Is it good unto thee that thou shouldst oppress, that thou shouldst despise the work of thine hands, and shine upon the counsel of the wicked? Hast thou eyes of flesh, or seest thou as man seeth? Are thy days the days of man? Are thy years as man's days, that thou inquirest after mine iniquity, and searchest after my sin? Thou knowest that I am not wicked and there is none that can deliver out of thine hand. Thine hands have made me and fashioned me together round about, yet thou dost destroy me. Remember, I beseech thee, that thou hast made me as the clay, and wilt thou bring me into dust again? Hast thou not poured me out as milk, and curdled me like cheese? Thou hast clothed me with skin and flesh, and hast fenced me with bones and sinews. Thou hast granted me life and favor, 
and thy visitation hath preserved my spirit. And these things hast thou hid in thine heart. I know that this is with thee. If I sin, then thou... All right. Does it say? Does it speak or no? No, it doesn't say anything. <laughs> really? <laughs> it doesn't say anything. You see, you see, you're a liar. You say to me, you swear by Allah, if I show you that it says how the baby is, how, how the human being is made. <laughs> <laughs> Where does it say that? Okay, Where? okay. Don't you notice here that your prophet is trying to copy this verse? Actually, don't you notice that? My, 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 okay, listen. But your prophet, Where? but your prophet, he missed the stages up, and that would make the Quran stupid. So he added <laughs> the word alaqa. He added the word bones. The, the word, the word, the sperm would became a blood. Look what he says here. Hasn't oh. hasn't you you know appeared me as milk and curdled me as as like a cheese? And then he, you close me with skin and the flesh, and has fenced me with with bones and, and, and so so he is telling you how Where? the baby is created. Now in your Quran, in your, in your Quran, in your Quran, Where? it says that the sperm became for forty days. In the Quran, does it say that? Alaqa. No, no, the Quran says that. No, it okay. doesn't. Is it? It doesn't say forty days in Quran. Oh no, no, way, no, no, and the Quran doesn't say 40 days, but it says something more ugly. The Quran says that the sperm becomes something else, and that becomes alaqa. You said to me, remember, you are the one who said to me that alaqa means a leech, right? Correct? Isn't it you who said that to me? Are you going to say that the Quran copied from Galen and now it is. Oh, hold on, hold on. Uh, aren't you the one who said to me that alaqa is something clean? Correct. What, uh, okay. What, uh, so what? 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 What became alaqa? What was before? Before it became alaqa, what was? The, the Quran says that uh, the sperm is in the place of sediment. Sperm this this, this is not. This is another question. Hold on. What was? Uh, what, before it became alaqa, what it was? I'm answering your question. Yeah. The what Quran was? Says that before says that before the alaqa became alaqa, what it was? Let me finish. You then you know what I'm talking about. The Quran mm. says that the sperm is in a, a place of sediment, firmly fixed, and mm. fixed. Mm. And that and that is the egg. Okay, that's the egg. Yes. Okay. Mm. Okay. Let's see if this is the egg. Read with me carefully. Chapter twenty-three, verse number fourteen says, "Then fashioned we the drop." Uh, no, the, the, the verse before. Verse before. Okay. Here we go. It says seed. It says uh, not fun, not fun in sperm. Not fun in sperm. So, yeah. Okay. So. This is a, a place of uh, a sediment, and that is the egg. Yeah, but this is the speed. No, no. This is where is the egg? Do you see the egg there? Oh, but uh, <laughs> the. Uh, no, the this is. you I can show you. I can show you the interpretation. This is about the deep inside the vagina. Where's the egg? Where are you coming for the okay, egg from? Where's the egg? Okay. How, do you, how do you know that this is not about the egg? Okay, show me the egg, no problem then. <laughs> <laughs> See? So then he says that the, the the seed, they go, they go inside the vagina, and then they will stay there as a drop of a clot. Uh, will became the, the seed, the sperm, will become a clot. Do you believe really no, that? No, Did it no, say no, it's no. in front of you? It's in front of you. Which translation you like? Which translation you your favorite? What, what, I, is, which, I, I like the uh, Arabic dictionary translation. You don't I speak like Arabic. It. You don't speak Arabic. How Arabic dictionary translation would work for you? Because the word leech in Arabic uh, is alaqa. Okay. If we go to the uh, Sahih uh, uh, International, is that fine for you? I said I like the Arabic dictionary. I know because there you can click at the word and it says to you the interpretation, right, the translation right away. What do you think? What Arabic dictionary? Just go there, please. I okay. beg you. Okay, G uh, give me, give me that. This uh, this dictionary is made just to make to fabricate the Quran today. Uh, Arabic dictionary. Here we go. I will go to dictionary. You want to yeah, yeah, yeah. show dictionary? Yeah. You want to show dictionary? Now. Okay. Okay. Let's go to dictionary. <laughs> Chapter twenty-three, verse number fourteen. Here we go. Dictionary. Okay. I will go. I, I will show you even Ibn Kathir what he's saying. What do you think? Oh, oh, why, 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 why? Yeah. Ibn Kathir do not know Arabic. Do Ibn, Kathir, do Ibn uh, Kathir know Arabic? Arabic? Do you do you know Arabic? Yeah. Do Ibn Kathir know Arabic? Yes or no? Yes. Okay. So he, if he we does. why we cannot go and see what Ibn Kathir says? Because Ibn Kathir didn't translate it into English. He no, he did. 
No, he did. He did. No, he did. He did. The, the Muslim did it. The Muslim did the job for us. <laughs> the Muslim they did. The Muslim did. Hold on. Why are you are? Why? Why are you afraid? Why are you afraid? Because your Ibn Kathir will get you busted, and we show everybody that Allah is a stupid. So now we have two stupid. You want Allah? Let us go. Come on, be, be nice. Be nice. Let us go. Here we go. This is, okay. Why Ibn Kathir? Why Ibn Kathir will lie? I mean, why he will lie? Either uh, the whole interpretation is made to defend the Quran, right? The interpretation of Ibn Kathir is made to defend the Quran. So why Ibn yeah. Kathir will make the Quran look stupid unless this is what he believe and this 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 is the truth? Let us see. Okay. Uh, here it says. Okay, read, 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 and let us love together. You can love with me. No problem. Here we go. Okay, my friend. Here we go. It says. Read, read, read. We have, and then we have we we made nutfa. It says here in Arabic. Summa khalaqna nutfa alaqa. It's in Arabic. Then we made the nutfa into a cloud. Shut up. Meaning that we made the nutfa, which is the water gushing forth, that's come from the lines of the man, the backbone in his back, in his back of the man, and the ribs of the woman, i.e., the bones of her chest between. <laughs> Do you see? This is Quran. He is he is quoting for you from a chapter 80, 86, verse number six and seven. The Quran says, Abdul, Abdul, I, I don't I don't have time for stupid. You just go, just go. You are just a kid. Let your dad call me. It's in the front of us. I mean, why? And I'm not lying. Here we go. This is what Muslims believe. The sperm of the man is coming from the backbone. Women have a sperm is coming from the location of the necklace. As simple as that. As you see it right in the front of your face this is not my maid not my translation not my book and by the way the Muslim translation of Abdi Kathir is nothing but a fabrication they cut 90% of the translation don't call me don't call me Abdul don't call me I want uh, somebody have intelligence to speak to me you say egg there's no egg you say alaqa is a leech it is a leech this is a lie it's a congealed blood all muslim scholars agree and it says that the sperm coming from the backbone of the man and the ribs of the woman and yet you say to me that this is god your god is certified donkey literally and i'm not insulting and the proof in front of you so look what it says he is even explaining then it became red the clot, red the clot, like in luck did the clot. Ikrama said, "This is the blood. This is a blood." <laughs> then we made the clot into a little loom of a flesh, which like a piece of a flesh, with no shape or features, which is stupid. Then we made out of the little loom flesh and bones, meaning we gave it shape. And we had two arms and two legs, but there's no there's no skin yet, and there's no nerves <laughs> with it with with it with its bones, nerves and vein, and then he put the veins. Actually, in Arabic, then Arabic doesn't say that, but he's adding that. Where did it go? Then we clothed the bones with the flesh, so the bones was naked. No, there's no there's no flesh, meaning we gave it something to cover. Then we made another creation. That's supposed to be the baby now. The baby is ready. And look what your prophet he said this is a Kathir copying not me the creation of anyone is gathered in the 40 days in the mother's stomach stomach thank you very much i was in my mother's stomach the sperm go to the stomach yes this is what says in arabic you see it for 40 days so you abdul you are a sperm now and you are in the in your mother inside your mother's stomach as a nutfa as you see nutfa it means sperm then became a clot similar period of time 40 days so 40 days as a nutfa as a sperm in your in your mother's stomach nice to meet you your mother she will eat you like a watermelon then it, why your mother she was doing what kind of sex she was doing <laughs> excuse my language was it oral sex why the sperm is given to her stomach any muslim there in town why the sperm of the man is coming to the mother's stomach she was doing mouth sex she swallow it she drink it your prophet is watching too much porn 
so then the sperm goes inside the mother's stomach and then it stay there for 40 days i mean what what the sperm doing there for 40 days vacation <laughs> Hey sperm, how you doing? Do you see my messages? When you are going to become something else, buddy, I have to stay here for 40 days, brother. Because Allah He decided for me to stay there for 40 days. Where are you now? I am in the stomach. <laughs> and then he becomes a little loom of a flesh for a similar length of time. So what the heck? 40 days again. We are stuck with number 40, Alibaba and the 40 thieves. <laughs> then the angel is sent to him and he breathed the soul. Until now, he have no soul. So look, you are already 80 years old baby, but yet you have no soul. Now, now the angel will breathe the soul. <laughs> okay. Oh, boy. So he was dead at that time. He was what? He was a piece of what? Uh, <laughs> Anyway, so this is what we're saying. Islam is a is literally stupid religion. And the only way for Islam to stay exist is to lie and to fabricate. And by the way, Ibn Kathir in English have nothing to do with Ibn Kathir in Arabic. I'm warning you. You see what you see is a stupid in front of you. This is not even 1% of the stupidity of the Islamic books in Arabic. In English, they make it, they, they cut a lot of things. They took it off. So always we have to be careful when we read Islamic interpretation in English doesn't mean this is what it says in Arabic They are trying to make it look nicer. You know, what I mean They try to make it look nicer And this is why it's very important what we do here so we can show you what it says in Arabic and what it says in English You remember how many times Muslims they call me and they say oh you do not know Arabic They th they, they think I do not know Arabic remember if you say and as usually I say not really so he get excited the second you say to him I do not know Arabic he says oh you see because you do not know Arabic you don't understand my friend you do not know Arabic how you understand you know and he starts giving you lecture about knowing Arabic if you do not know Arabic you're a donkey you know then you get him busted you say okay I know Arabic the second you say to him you know Arabic he like what huh huh Who? what I think this is the same guy. He made a new name. Let us call him. Otherwise, he might he might die from anger. <coughs> you will answer or no? Why you call me if you will not answer? Yeah, actually, right now I'm working in translation of the Quran, and I hope you know when it's ready, we will publish it. It's going to be out. All right, I'm working in that. Uh, but as you see, Islam is a very stupid religion. It doesn't matter how much hard they try to de to defend, but th their defense will not work. I mean, this is this is literally stupidity. This is literally what stupidity is about. Let us see. We we'll call him again. Suppose he's trying to call me, but it's not working. Let us see. Is that you in the new Hello? name now? Hello? Hello? Yes. Uh, brother, by mistake, I called. Actually, I was listening to your live debate. Oh, I'm a believer. Right. Okay. Are you a Muslim? So I will just search. No, 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 I'm not a Muslim. Oh, oh, okay. um, okay. It is very useful because your tapes and your, no, I just keep listening. So that I can speak to them. All right, my friend. Thank you very much. So I was just searching a name and it just clicked. I thought you are a customer. Too bad. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Are you are you from India, my friend? Yeah, I'm from India. All right. Yes. God, God bless you. Yeah. Thank You're you. Welcome. Thank you. Bye bye. All right. Actually, I'm really happy that I you know we have this is the good thing about this internet. This is an opportunity we never have before. That I have people listening from Indonesia, from India, from I mean. You name it, from Vietnam, from Thailand. I'm receiving messages from everywhere. And uh, uh, what lately happened that we, we our debate with this guy who called himself Ustaz, you remember him? 
that open a new window for us in Nigeria a lot of people are listening to us from Nigeria they are copying our videos like crazy and I received many messages about Muslims leaving leaving Islam from Nigeria because of that such as such a stupid silly debate with this guy I don't even call it a debate I call it spanking but what we do is very important they think they have knowledge but the fact they are little dummy and you notice when I speak to them honest to God I speak to them as a children's even when I scream etc this is why I wish I can debate somebody have knowledge because when you debate somebody have a knowledge victory is so, so easy if you go right now and search for my debate with dr. Rohi who have a PhD from Azhar University is not a regular Muslim you will see how the guy was all over the place if you go and watch my debate with the with the with the with the head of the Islamic uh, 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 Muslims in USA uh, Hisham al Husseini a big shake Go and see the comment of the, the, the debate. The Muslim, they accuse me, even I paid him. He watched a debate in the TV. The guy was going crazy. He was going to jump from the window. So debating ignorant is the hardest debate because you are talking just a kid. Someone, maybe he's a man, yes. Maybe he have a maybe he's old, maybe he's older than me, but yet still you are talking to a kid. You have to give him the food by your hand. He don't he cannot even do he don't have teeth. So debating with somebody have a knowledge is a lot easier. They would not say those stupid things this guy he says to us. Uh, I, will, I will give you an example. Hold on, let me let me look for something. <clears throat> You will see how the conversation is different. The topic is different, you know. Okay, let us see this one. I, I, there's many I, I I spoke with this guy many times. Let us see which one will play for you. Doesn't matter really, all of them they are the same. Let us see. For now, uh, we want Muslims only. Okay, hold on. Let us see where when Dr. Rohi he called me. Let me log in. Okay. To be a prophet. Anyone? You see, sometimes we sound like we are we are like a homeless person begging for a for, a, for <laughs> like any Muslim, any Muslim. <laughs> Do we have any Muslim? <laughs> it's like a homeless person. Let's see. Any Muslim he think he can do so. Should I? I'm looking when the when the conversation started. I'm not sure. Let us see here. Oh, here we go. Yeah, this is Doctor Rohi. He called me. Just a minute. Uh, Muhammad, uh, God is uh, uh, sent to be to him in the cave and uh, tell him uh, to that he a prophet and uh, said, Read, and your Lord is the most generous who taught by the men, taught man that which he knew not. Uh, this is the beginning of the yeah, but I, but I don't know. You are saying something to me. I cannot really find it in the story because there's nowhere in the hadith it says that the angel is said to Muhammad, "You are a prophet." Do you agree? You, you just say no, no. you say that the angel told him you are a prophet, but nowhere he said that to him. Where he said to him you are a prophet? 
in the hadith uh, said, uh, let, us, I am let, let, us, let us move a little bit to something what more. I'm trying to say to you, Dr. Rahi, that one of them have to be lying. It can't be the true stories are correct because one is saying he did not say to him anything about I, you, I'm an angel and you are a prophet. And the other one you are saying, it says he's an angel and he told him oh, you are a prophet. So which one of those stories is a, is a lie? The one in Sahih al-Bukhari or the one... Anyway, they can watch it. You can search, like, search for debate, uh, debate uh, yeah, Imam Dr. Rohi with the Christian Prince. You can search for the debate and you can laugh. But you always you will notice that debate with those who have knowledge is a lot easier than debating with kids. Like you see, when uh, Mimi, Mimi uh, debated with David Wood, because Mimi is a kid, he was making mockery of David Wood. Not because he have knowledge. Everything Mimi he said is against Islam. He said Allah he prayed for not to. He said for four thousand years not a single Jew, not a single Jew, four thousand years, four thousand years Jewish are restricted to worship God alone. Not a single rabbi, four thousand years. Well, four thousand years. That's mean the Quran is a stupid lie, because the Quran says. That the Jews they worship a man, his name is Uzair, and they say he is the name uh, son of a uh, son of Allah. And not only that, even they worship their rabbis as God. So when you say for four thousand years, which means since the time of Musa, according to him, not a single Jew did worship anyone besides God. That's mean the Quran is a fabricated book. So this guy, he's a kid. He opened his mouth. He do poopoo like Muhammad. And the Muslims, because they are, you know, a bunch of ignorant, they were like, wow, hey, victory, Allah, Akbar, brother, you destroyed him. <laughs> brother, you destroyed the, the David Wood. <laughs> you destroyed him. Uh, David Wood, he says to him, your God, Allah has parts. Uh, uh, Mimi, he answered, which, uh, no, he said, uh, uh, you said, uh, my God has part. He said, scars have part. Which is scars? <laughs> so this is why, my friend, when you talk to Muslims, you have to go down to their level if they are law. Otherwise, you cannot really talk to them. So when when someone like David Wood, and I have respect to all those who really, you know, uh, uh, expose Islam and defend the faith. When you debate Muslims, you have to prepare yourself to go down to their level. You cannot stand up and say, I'm not going to go down. You cannot do that. Otherwise, you would look like you are the one who lost. Do you understand me, guys, what I'm saying? You have to go down to their level. As simple as that. And then you will see how stupid what he's saying. If I am there in the stage, I will say to him, right away in the stage, you said, uh, which is scholar? You said, have uh, Allah has parts? Uh, your prophet said, Allah, he said. <laughs> what do you mean, which is scholar? <laughs> which is scholar? That's a good one. But you have right away to put them in the corner. This is what debate is about. This is why I don't like the format of the debate with like five minutes for you, five minutes for me. By the time he finished, the guy, he finished, he forgot even what the guy he just said five minutes ago. You have to put them in the corner immediately. Get them busted with no mercy. With no mercy. When it's come to the truth, don't be polite. Polite versus the truth. Which one you choose? You guys, do you understand what I'm saying? Which one you choose? Polite? Or saying the truth you have to say the truth and it's impossible to say to be polite really when you say the truth because the second you say the truth is you are offending the person in front of you so the problem with the Christians there when they when they, when they debate Muslims they are very polite and that will not work you are you know you are debating somebody he is following the devil and you want to be polite you see, when the Messiah, he said to the Jews, you are sons of vipers. He was describing things as it is. He wasn't polite. Saying the truth, never being polite. Because being polite is about being perfectly correct. Now, let us see. I think there's a Muslim trying to call me, maybe. <clears throat> okay, we have a Muslim. He's calling me liar. <coughs> this Muslim is calling me a liar, and he's so excited. 
Hello. This is you again? Yes. <laughs> Why I'm a liar? Why? Because uh, you always lie. Why? Like what? Okay. Okay. Let me just give you an example. Hmm. In the uh, New Testament, it says Judas died by hanging himself. And in hmm. the other uh, New Testament, it says he died by falling off a cliff and his his organs gushed out. Is your is your New Testament inspired by the Holy Spirit? Yes or no? My friend, yes, my, right? my my friend, my friend. So okay, let me ask you: If this is what you said is true and it exists as you said, that yes, will convince. So okay, that, hold on, hold on. That will convince you that Muhammad is a prophet. Let us say, for the sake of argument, that what you're saying is true. Yes, no, it's true. Okay, no, 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 no. You, you can show me no problem. But I'm asking you: If that is a true, that will convince you that Muhammad is not a stupid now because he said that the sperm became a clot or not? No, no, it's because no, it is. First of all, I'm not gonna uh, argue with you anymore if it's a clot of, or a leech. No, you cannot argue. I'm showing you what your prophet said. I'm showing you what the Quran says. I'm showing you what scholars say. So you cannot argue. Scholars didn't say that. If uh, interpretation doesn't say that it all they all say it's Allah and uh, people okay. Well, you said you said the scholar doesn't say that. Are you sure? It's an, it's an, uh, I don't care. Uh, uh, this uh, this topic, uh, how uh, Judas died. Okay, hold on, hold is on. Your, you see, I, I, don't, I don't like to waste my time with the stupidity. First, before before you go to Judah, we can go to Jordan, no problem. But why you are lying? Why you are saying doesn't say that? Why you are saying that? Which which is color? Which is what is the scholar you are talking about? He don't he don't say that. Why are you are lying? No, say that, my friend. Why are you are lying? It's in the front of you. It's in the screen. Let me see. It's in the screen. Is that a scholar or not? Well, people in the twentieth century they translated it into that. Hmm. What do you not understand? What do, mean, it, what do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? This is seven hundred years, eight hundred years after Muhammad. It's still, the Muslim they believe what Muhammad said is this, this is the truth. This is eight hundred years after yeah. Muhammad. Ibn Kathir, he came way after the science became advanced. Eight hundred years after Muhammad. Yeah, because they didn't know it would actually. Okay, let me English. ask you. Do you know what eight hundred years after Muhammad mean? Do you know exactly what does that mean? Which year is that? Eight hundred years. Yeah. Uh. Uh. Just uh, eight hundred years. This is this is in the day to one thousand four hundred. Okay. Okay. So in the year one thousand four hundred, you Muslims still believe that's Muhammad what is saying. So why do they want to lie? Look, look. Muhammad said it in Arabic. People they didn't know that the embryo would actually become a. Leech. My friend Muhammad, he said that in Arabic too. I showed you the hadith. Isn't it the hadith in Arabic okay. or it's in English? Okay. Yeah. It's in Arabic, but he says halaka. The word halaka means. No, here we go. Let me show you. Here we go. You see, you 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 are you are you are trying you are trying to play slow. It doesn't work with me here. You are slow, but no problem. That's why I just say it. I want to speak to Muslims. I speak to them as kids, and you are a kid. Let's see together. Here we go. You know, you 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 keep saying halaka, 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 halaka in the Arabic language is a, a congealed blood. However, let us say for the sake of argument, halaka is as you say. I will change it. No, no, I will change it just to make it as you said. You said what? You said the leech, right? Yes. Okay, leech. So, guys, we will change it to a leech. Okay. So now the semen became a leech. The semen was was in the womb of the uh, uh, of the mother for forty days or fifty days. Do you agree with that? Yes. yes. Is that what science teach? Yes. Who was the donkey? He said that to you. <laughs> Give me his name. I will tell you his name. His name is Muhammad. Correct. No. What do you mean? No. It says in the front of you. So you say to me, the same, the, the Abdi Kathi don't understand. You understand better. This is your prophet. There's no way he's a donkey. He's a prophet, right? Have you, have you ever the, heard of a prophet and his donkey at the same time? That would be double rank, like donkey and prophet at the same time. See how uh, disrespectful you are. I, I, don't, I, I don't respect Muhammad. He's a Salmul Lester. Why I respect him? He's a, he's a satanic man. Why I respect him? I don't respect Satan. Yes. Now I'm asking, no because this is a liar. He obviously is a liar. Do you respect liars? Why he claimed that? He, why he claimed how the baby is created? Yet he says that the semen stay in the womb of the mother for fifty or forty days. Is that true? Why your book says that uh, the uh, trees uh, grow, but yet there is no sun? Why your book says there was light, but yet there was no sun? When? When? What Bible might say? What? What, what do you mean? The Bible says that uh, tr trees was uh, the trees mm. that they were growing, mm. and uh, after that the, the sun was created. When? Was when the sun was created, Bible. according to the Bible. Do you know? Do you remember? Do you remember? Okay, show me. I'm waiting for you. <laughs> this is very embarrassing, by the way. 
You're you're just a hypocrite. I'll show you. Mm. Before you show me, um, yes. from now I'm going to say to you, are you sure? Yes. Okay, show you me. No, okay. I, I just said to you, I sure. This is my my password. I say it before I spank. So show me. Okay. Uh, uh, Genesis one, hmm. uh, uh, verse eleven to thirteen. It says okay. that the earth spread vegetation, hmm. plants yielding seeds. Mm. And fruits, uh, trees bearing fruit in which is their seed. Mm. And then uh, Genesis 1, verse 14 to 19, mm. it says that the uh, sun was created on the fourth day. How is it possible? Okay, what is the for the fourth day, which means this is Wednesday? I don't care. How is it possible? Okay, the, uh, okay. The I, 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 remember, I said to you, Are you sure? So I want to repeat again, Are you sure that this is stupid? Uh, not scientific no no I am saying I'm please you know I want you to be honest I want you to say in front of everybody this is extremely stupid whoever says that is a stupid say it are you gonna show me and uh... no, 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 don't play games are you scared now because this is what happened most the second I said to them are, are you sure they have poopo -poo in their panty I want you to say this is stupid whoever say it is stupid just please say it it's, it's in your book you you just say this is in, in, in not scientific that's mean this is a lie correct it's a, it's a, it's a Doesn't point. matter. I'm asking you. Be just be consistent. Just say this is stupid. Just say it. Why you are quoting me this? To, you said to me you are showing me an error, correct? You are showing me a mistake. You are showing me stupidity. So I'm asking you, please, can you say whoever says that is a stupid? Please say it. I'm not gonna say whoever says it. No, why? Why? Why not? Why not? I mean, what's wrong with you? A second ago you are a hero. And now you became a potato. What happened? Say it. Just say it. Well, say it. Huh? You agree that whoever who says that is stupid? It says that there was. Blah, 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 blah. Just say it. You know, I get, I get the point. I get the point. The light created in the fourth day. That's what you said. Everybody heard you. That's it. Say that this is stupid. Whoever uh, uh, says that, uh, say, say, uh, whoever says that is stupid. Please, I'm asking you. I'm begging you. Say that. Why? Why not? I mean, just say that it's stupid. So why, why you are quoting me for me? So why you are quoting this for me to prove what? Because uh, I have respect. What respect? I'm asking you, is that wrong or not? The one you quote for me, that the the the, the sun created in the fourth day, uh, is that wrong science or not? Does, huh? Science doesn't agree. Science doesn't agree. So this is wrong, right? Yes. So this is stupid. Say yes. <laughs> <laughs> Abdul, you just said that. Thank you very much. Look what your prophet said, and you just get your prophet busted. That's what you Muslims do. You, you have no idea you are talking to. First of all, in, in the Bible, my friend, God, he said it from the first verse. He said, God said that let be light, and light was. So light is exists already. Creating the uh, sun. Uh, Hold on, shut up, shut up. You, are, you asked me the question, I'm answering you. So he created the light already. The first thing he created, he said, let be light. So creating the creating this the the, the 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 sun the star doesn't mean there's no light secondly what do you look, mean? Look, hold, hold on that. hold on I don't uh, let me answer you I answered you hold on hold on look what your prophet said and now you are the one who agreed whoever says that is a stupid creating the, the the sun in the first day is said by a stupid person thank you your Bible says that read so carefully with me read carefully Allah the Muhammad said not me this is Sahih this is Sahih Muslim Sahih Bukhari Allah exalted the greatest, he said, created the clay on Saturday and created the mountain on Sunday and created the trees on Monday and created the things in time in labor in Tuesday and created the light in Wednesday. So now I want you to say, You Muhammad are idiot. Say it. How do you know this is 100% authentic? You don't know. Okay. You, you Muslims, you say it's authentic. No, it's not my business. You, you call it Sahih. So you call it Sahih, but it's not authentic? You call it okay, Sahih, okay. but it's a lie? Okay, it's, okay, it's authentic. Okay. Uh, Al-Tabri says that uh, Ibn Abbas said that, that Muhammad said that this is, he said that this is completely uh, different. 
<laughs> but this is Sahih Muslim, Sahih Bukhari, my friend Abdul. Why? Why? Okay, hold on, hold on. Let, let, let me ask you here. Uh, so, do you agree with your prophet or not? Just be honest. In a, in a, in a, uh, 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 do you agree or do you not agree? Or you, you say I agree or don't agree? Yes, I'm saying. This your prophet, not a tabari. A tabari is just a mufassir. Muhammad, he says something. And by the way, I can show you a tabari. A tabari agree. You are a liar. What a tabari does no, agree? No, no, no. I'll show you. I'll show you. I'll Abdul, show you. Abdul, Abdul, no, no, no. Do you agree with your prophet or not? I'll show you. Do you agree with your prophet or not? Do you agree with your prophet or not? I'm asking you, do you agree with your prophet or not? What, what, what if I show you that he said he used that uh, something different? What if I show you? He have he agrees still. Okay, let, let me ask you, do you agree with the Tabari? I ask you, I ask you, do you agree? Uh, can we uh, can we choose a Tabari? You just you just pick up for me a Tabari. Do you promise me if I open for you a tabari, you will not say the tabari is a stupid? Do you, do you make a promise and you will leave Islam? No, I'm just gonna show yeah, you. Yeah, 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 just get lost, get lost. Let, let you let, let let the man of the house call me. Let your mom call me. <laughs> and the story about uh uh about uh, Judah that the way he was killed, uh you see the books describe what happened to him so yes he hung on some uh, you know when he fell down from the tree or he hung himself his his body you know collapsed he's dead he's he's, uh, he's, he's corrupt he's consumed so demolished there's no difference between the two verses that was because of your stupidity when you read anything in christianity go and read the interpretation and you will learn when we read from Islam, we show you the interpretation so we can learn and we laugh. So when you say that the Bible says, and by the way, here, anyone notice it with me here the, the, the stupidity, uh, the stupidity of the of Muhammad? Anyone notice? There is something very stupid. The Quran says that Allah created the earth in six days and he rested in the seventh day. Or he sat in the throne. Here, if you count with me, Allah created the clay in Saturday. Okay, this is day number one. Don't call me, kid. Don't call me. No, we want we, we want an immature person. Don't make me block you. I will block you. Okay, here we go. I'll block you. As you wish. All right. If you if you count with me here, you will see that he created the clay in Saturday, and this is day number one. And then he created the mountain on Sunday. This is day number two. Created the trees in Monday, and this is day number three. And then he created uh, 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 things in Thailand labor on Tuesday. That day number four. And then he created a light in Wednesday. This is day number five. And then he created the animals uh, in, in, in Thursday. And that what was calling. Hello? 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 Hello, Christian Priest. Yes, my friend. Are you a Muslim? I was, but I left after watching your videos for some time. All right, that's wonderful, my friend. Why you decide to leave? What happened? I have realized that um, um, one cannot be a human. Your your humility and your inner spirit cannot just accept some of the things. Okay, I'm trying to understand. So, uh, what makes you believe Muhammad is a false prophet? Everything he says does not comply with humanity. Mm. So, 
what about the teaching of Allah? Do you think Allah is? Uh, I mean, don't do you, do you notice from my videos that Allah He is being stupid, cannot be God speaking? Not only stupid, but also very wicked. Very wicked. You're right. So when you very, when very you, when you decide to leave Islam, my friend, what, what like when uh, since when? Like a week ago, a few days ago, today, what happened? I left about a month ago. A month ago. Okay. Since when you watch my videos? I started watching your videos about two months ago. All right. Well, I'm happy for you, my friend. And uh, um, but what like made you let us say because you know when a person he is in the process to leave a religion, he it take him struggle, right? You know, like you don't because you are a Muslim, Muslim family, etc. So, but <sighs> what what made you like take a final decision that that said I am out? What what is the the thing? Yeah, what actually you? what actually happened was that one time. Um, we finished our morning prayers and the Imam was um, talking to us mm. telling us that if we have our parents who are not Muslims we are not supposed to do anything good to them right so, so this is chapter I 9 begin, this begin is chapter 9 wonder, verse 23 you're right okay yes how how can somebody who has suffered with me from childhood I have become a Muslim and I can't take care of that person how 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 does that comply with humility yeah um and there was also an imam i was passing by and that imam was telling congregation that if you steal the good of a non-muslim you have no stolen because those properties actually belong to the muslims i mm -hmm. begin to wonder somebody is taking care of his animals has suffered with the animal somebody else has gone to steal it and it is not stealing mm. as per, per, per islam so I was wondering how, if this is actually coming from God. Then I asked somebody, and the person gave me a verse. Actually, I can't, I can't remember the verse. And it was like the properties of non-believers belongs to what the believers. Yeah, this is chapter, uh, chapter nine. Yeah. Yeah. So all these things are going on. I, I begin to wonder why am I a human being? If I'm a human being and I, I can't think, I can't. I mean, I, I, I accept some kind of wickedness some kind of ungodliness. I mean, sometimes we, we, we don't even need holy books to tell us what is right and what is wrong. Yeah. Within me, I could not accept such wickedness. Uh, Christian, praise that's, um, that's good. I don't know, you are, you, are, you are actually opening the eyes of so many. You might don't know what you are doing, but um, we as Africans, we are, we are getting the message. That's and, wonderful, my friend. But um, what about, we are beginning did you... To, 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 to think outright yeah what what about uh, did you think about accepting christ yes okay yes i have done that you've done that that's honestly, wonderful so now you so now you became a christian bible you decided yeah, to become a christian that. i wasn't reading the bible until i picked the bible and when i went through it you can see that almost everything in the bible is contrary to what is in the quran totally different yeah absolutely totally totally different well, I'm happy for you, my friend. I'm really uh, uh, happy to, to actually. I receive many messages from uh, from Africa, uh, from Nigeria. I'm not, I don't know which country you're from, uh, but I received many, many messages of people leaving Islam and they are learning. And uh, but I encourage you to keep watching, even though you decide to leave Islam, because people they will try to debate you and to try to show you that you are wrong. You know. So I want you to arm yourself with the truth, and the truth will set you free, as the Bible said. You know. Sure. Yeah. Stay, stay, uh, stay. Read the Bible, and at the same time, still learning about Islam, so the Lord He can use you to bring more Muslims out of Islam. You know, because you are, you are, you were one of them, just two months ago, and uh, you know now you are, uh, you are Christian. So uh, now the Lord He will use you, if you allowed Him to use you. You know, okay. if you decide to be to be to be His uh, messenger. You can be that, and uh, but before you can do that, you have to arm yourself with knowledge, in both in the Bible and in the cult of Islam. Sure. Yeah. So I'm really happy for you, you know, and I hope uh, I hope many people will come to to to, the, to Christ through you, and the Lord always He uses us. I'm not better Amen. than you. You are not better than me, my friend. We are equal in the eye of the Lord, and each one of us He have a He have a He have a mission to do. So let us see, let us make a competition, me and you. How many 
you will bring out of Islam to Christ this year okay. and how many I will do bring to Christ this year this is a good competition okay. and I will be jealous from you but good jealousy if you can make better than me I afraid you I mean to that yes sir okay thank you my friend for calling I feel free to call me thank anytime you, you wish ask, okay. them, ask the Muslim to come and watch us and call us okay thank All you right, very my much, friend. Sir. thank you take care bye-bye bye, -bye. bye. It's always to hear good news and to hear to, to hear uh, you know uh, uh, the fruits, the good fruits. Uh, Sometimes, like I get upset, I uh, like you know you stay six, seven hours talking and you get headache and it's not healthy actually. Even my knee hurt me for staying all this long behind the chair. But when you hear the news like this, and you know you find that you are putting the good seeds. In continent far away from you for our brothers and sisters in Africa which we love them a lot uh, this is this is very very important that all of us we carry the message you know like now our brother here he can do he can do what I cannot do because he speak the language he is one of them I'm not there I don't even know the culture so he's coming from a Muslim family from a Muslim culture etc so he can do even maybe better than me but in order to do better than Christian Prince, you need to learn. You know, knowledge is extremely important. You don't go to the battle with the devil, but you do not know. It doesn't make it doesn't work. When you fight him, you have to arm yourself. Uh, if we go back to the topic we were talking about, how Muhammad he was speaking about. <clears throat> How uh, Allah created uh, the earth and the heaven, supposedly. Let us go back there. You will notice if we count the days that the days total is going to be eight, uh, seven days. One day, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, number three. And then he created the uh, entire labor in Tuesday, number four. And then he created the light in Wednesday, number five. And then he created the, uh, uh, caused the animal to spread in, in th uh, th uh, Thursday. This is number six. And then he created Adam in a Friday afternoon. That is number seven. And that is a contradiction for the Quran. So that stupid Muhammad, he can't even remember. <laughs> how has God created things and by the way the Quran itself contradict itself if you go and read the chapter 79 and chapter 41 and chapter 2 you will find that every chapter contradicting the other one about which one in order happen the tree first or the stars one says that Allah created the stars first and then he created the mountains and the earth and etc and the trees and substance and one is saying the opposite that he finished the earth in, in two days and then he accomplished everything on top of the earth in, in four days he created the, tree, the trees the, the, the water etc and then after that he went to the sky and the sky was a smoke and then he made the stars total contradiction so even the Quran is a book of contradiction and then Muhammad he get himself busted by saying stupid things as we see in front of us on the screen this is why it's very important for us to learn what Muhammad said because the devil, when he talk, he do expose himself. That's why Jesus said, from their fruits, you shall know them. And one of the fruits of Muhammad is his talk, not only his action. His actions are exposing him, but his, his, his talk is even exposing him more. Uh, we have a person trying to call. Oh, this is a Muslim, you want to call me? Let us see. I hope it's not the same guy, Abdul. Hello. Yes, Abdul, how are you? <laughs> yes, how are you, man? I'm fine. So are you are you educated Abdul or ignorant Abdul? Which Abdul? Are you a Muslim? Oh, I'm uh, I'm atheist. 
I'm Muslim, atheist, I'm Christian. What is everything? That mean? You are everything. Okay. Well, <laughs> no, I don't talk to everything. I don't like it. Jokers here. This is not a problem for kids. Take care. Uh, anyway, we aren't going to stay long reading. Uh, I just wanted to to change the time a little bit. It's getting late for me. It's three thirty-seven already here. Man, I'm going to sleep soon, supposedly. And we have a very nice temperature outside. Uh, it is minus twenty-nine. Unbelievable. You believe it? By the way, as long as we are talking about cold and ice, do you know where the ice is coming from, according to Quran? Who knows? Who remember? Who remember? Where the ice is coming from, according to Muhammad, the intelligence of Muhammad, the God of not, actually not Muhammad. Sorry, supposedly Allah is talking. Hmm? According to Muhammad, <clears throat> Allah He sent the ice from mountains in heaven, which obviously is true. <laughs> uh, and we change the Muslim to say that this is not true. If you go uh, uh, in the Quran, you will see chapter 24, verse number 43. Allah here is describing for you how he make the rain. Now, the translation can make it confusing. And then here you see, which is a lot easier to understand. Here he says, uh, he sent down from sky mountains masses and look here the added cloud where in is hail it doesn't say that it doesn't say that this is a very big fat translation of lies in arabic it says allah he sent hails from mountains there's no cloud which is in heaven let us change translator and you will see how translation change let us go to mr big all of them they are liars but look how the translation changed. He sent down from heaven mountains wherein is hail. And then he submitted at the one he don't like. So, uh, by the way, if you don't believe me, I can go and show you the interpretation. Shall I? We can do that. There's a mountains of hail in heaven Allah he break <laughs> the hail from the mountains let us go and see the interpretation because Muslim they might say to you it doesn't say that you are fabricating it is not a meaning chapter 24 verse number 43 24 okay read with me and love it says here he sent down from the heaven mountain where is hail he says he sent down hail from mountains in heaven <laughs> true story <laughs> science that's pure science now I know where the ice is coming from I was wondering where is ice coming from? I don't know. I mean, see, and all this time we think that ice is coming from different place. But here we go. Ice is coming from mountains in heaven, and Allah He cut them pieces and He throw it at the one He don't like. It's obvious. Allah is Allah. He like to play in the snow. He throw it at us. He don't like you. He throws snow. Not only that. If you go in chapter thirteen, verse number thirteen in the Quran, as long as we are talking about weather, etc. You will see that Muhammad, God, which is Muhammad, Aka Muhammad, he claimed that the angels, the, the thunder is an angel. <clears throat> uh, 
so here he says wa yusabbihu ar-ra'du bihamdi wa malaikatuhu min khifatihi excuse my voice uh, by his command and it it is an angel so the thunder is an angel you see the thunder he prays and it is an angel it's also said it is voice of the sky <laughs> and it's also the angel he sing he praises uh, the angels have a way toward Allah uh, actually in different interpretation it says <clears throat> I don't know like in English you cannot even they, they, they cut off all the, everything in Arabic in Ara in Arabic it says that the angel he have uh, uh, there's an angel his name is mr. thunder in Arabic rod rod thunder this angel he is in charge of angels he is in charge and he is in charge of the cloud and in, when they asked the Prophet of Allah, he said that he beat the they asked him what about the, the fire built we see, the fire we see. He said this is his built. He beat the cloud with it. True story. Read with me carefully. This is a Jalali. And the thunder, this is an angel who is in charge of the cloud, driving them while they are constantly proclaims his praise. That he Says glory, Allah. We say Allah Akbar, takbir, Allah Akbar. So the the the, the, the this is takbir, the glory to be Allah. And they say Subhanallah, Alhamdulillah. The, 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 the cloud they speak Arabic, and the thunder he speak Arabic. Okay. Uh, yeah. So then, and these are the fire which issued from forth from the cloud and submit with it whom he will. Okay. Now. Uh, He had sent someone to invite to Islam and okay. Yeah. If we go to Arabic interpretation, you will see the Arabic one is totally different. Arabic is really far away from the English. Arabic is a ton million times more funny. In English, they try to make it look nicer. Let us see. Oh, this page is you have to flip second page, third page. Yeah, you see how how the how the Arabic how long it is, and then if we go actually even like a Jalalain or if we go to a Jalalain Arabic, we will find it's a lot longer than than uh, than the English one. Anyway, those who speak Arabic, they can, they can, they can open and they can laugh at this, uh, at this madness. Um, it doesn't matter where you go; all of it is the same garbage. But the Muslim today, in the year 2018, they try to explain those verses in different way because it's very embarrassing to believe in such a garbage. So they start fabricating stories. It is not what the Quran is saying in order to, uh, to escape the embarrassment, you know. Yeah, all of this supposedly is about the th Mr. Thunder. All right. Uh, let us see Ibn Kathir in Arabic. If we compare between Ibn Kathir in Arabic and Ibn Kathir in English, you will see the difference. Uh, Ibn Kathir. Or maybe Al Qurtubi. Let us love Al Qurtubi. Okay. Read carefully with me. For those who speak Arabic, <clears throat> he said. Uh, he said that a rad he prays Allah and the angels from his from fear. They are the they scream from fear. They fear Allah, and then he says, it, "It's uh, and it and he is that the rad is a thunder and the, the thunder is an angel." He is sitting on the chair between the sky and the earth. In his right hand, there are 70,000 angels. And his left hand, the same number, which means 70,000 uh, angels. And then when he moves to the right, 70,000 angels, they scream. <laughs> oh, boy. And man, that says something. I mean, you are telling me you will not believe in Allah? How oh, Allah in you? How you know? 
Look. The thunder. They are saying Allahu Akbar. They are afraid from Allah. 70,000 thunder in the right side and 70,000 thunder in the left side. All are praising Allah. So when the angel thunder, Mr. Thunder is an angel who is in charge of 140,000 angel. All of them, they make sound of thunder. True story. If you don't believe it, you have a problem. You need to see a doctor. Allah don't lie, Muhammad don't lie, Islamic books don't lie. All right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Anyway, what we can say, my friend? What we can say? stupidity versus knowledge and intelligence if you decide to be stupid good for you actually sometime you know like sometime I don't know I, I don't know if, if this is right to say sometime uh, sometime you wish to be stupid because if you are stupid you sleep I mean you sleep my, my, myself I go to sleep I, my brain is thinking 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 it's good to be a donkey for some time at least this brain can stop thinking Stop working, take a break. And the best way to be a donkey is to be a Muslim. Look at this garbage. God, you want to provide us vagina. God is spending 1,000 years to soften the skin of women. Why? He never heard of something called Nivea. He never heard something of, of, of Vaseline. Can't he take them those versions to to cheap location to make some silicone surgery for them? One thousand year to soften the skin of a woman. Why? Her skin is made from what? Concrete. Even concrete, you can make it soft in five minutes with those machines. Anyway, my friend. Uh, now, is, the, is this time was good for you guys, for those who they are watching? I try today in purpose so we can be able to reach out to those who they are in India, uh, in Indonesia, in Thailand, in Philippines, uh, etc. You know, otherwise I know that I will not have too many, like we have 700 people. Uh, but it's more important to, to serve everybody. We are not here to serve uh, American only or uh, European only. All of us, we are brothers and sisters around this earth. All of us equally. Nobody is better than anyone. The Bible, my friend, make it clear. There's no Hebrew, there's no Greek, there's no free, there's no slave. There's no women, no male, no female. All of us, we are one by his name. So let us carry the message together. And in the same time, yes, we make fun of Islam. Islam is a stupid, Islam is cult, Islam is evil, but we don't hate the Muslims. Remember always that. Remember the call we just received 15 minutes ago from this brother from Africa who used to be a Muslim two months ago, and now he is a brother in Christ. So we need to love them. He left Islam because he found Islam is wicked. If we are wicked too, why he will come to Christ? Christ don't teach wickedness, teach love and teach mercy. So let us be, all of us, ambassador for his name. And his name is glorious. All of us, we are sinners. And we ask for forgiveness. But we have the best of the best. And because of that, we are victorious. Not because I am smart and you are not. But because if I defend Islam, I will look stupid too. It doesn't matter how much I know. I cannot defend Islam. When you defend something stupid, you will look stupid. I defend something. I do not need to be a genius to defend. 
he prove himself I can't prove him his Lord before me before Abraham I am Abraham he saw my day the blind man he saw his day the dead man he saw his day the one who cannot walk he saw his day that is our Lord our Lord is great and his name is wonderful and he is a miracle all prophet did miracles but he himself is a miracle for God is a miracle thank you very much for being here and until I see you soon again Christ is Lord Islam is false and thank you very much take care